Let's try again. Hi. Uh, I'm on a different camera now. This is it, this is better at uh, indoor lighting, but it's going to take a while to upload tonight. But I have plenty of time, so that's okay. I am going to do another video response to Oni Chanriku. I think that's how you say it. It's not Oniki Charu, which which I got. I said last time. I said Oniki Charu. It's not Oniki Charu. It's Oni Chanriku, and I'm going to uh, answer some questions that he has. By the way. She's just lying there being all lazy and stuff. So anyway, that was completely unnecessary. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna read some questions and I'm gonna answer to th answer them, all of them, uh, starting with the first one. Boy, are we just so articulate tonight? And just yeah, find your happy place. Your mother tells you that you are the product of an illicit affair she had with the man who is now your boss at work. The boss doesn't know he's your real father. Do you keep the job? Yeah, we have 9% unemployment. Yeah. Yeah, I want to keep my job. Um. <laughs> In reality, my, my mom is old enough to be my boss's mom, too. But... In, in the hypothetical world, I'm working for a very old man. Um, do I keep my job? Yeah, I keep my job. It's, you know, unemployment is 9%. I, don't, I can't afford to quit my job and decide to go look somewhere else. That's ridiculous. Do you tell your boss? No, I, I don't. Why should I? Or do you tell your real father? Um, no, I don't I don't tell anything to anybody. Why Why the hell should I? What, what purpose is it, is it going to serve? You've had a pet monkey for several years. You raised it from a baby. It's your baby, a real member of the family. Was there for you when you were alone, a cherished pet. One day you meet someone wonderful and a relationship begins. You're falling in love and bring him, her over to meet your monkey. The monkey takes one look at your intended and goes berserk, poops into its hand and hurls it at your lover. Every other subsequent meeting since ends in disaster. It's clear your monkey will never accept your new love. Who goes, the monkey or the lover? Um, the lover. The lover. The the monkey knows something about her that I don't. I think the monkey can pick up on certain things. It's sort of like it's it's sort of like you know going over to your girlfriend's house and the cat not liking you. It's the same thing. I I I think that the monkey is in on things that 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 you're not aware of. So just yeah, I think. You, Definitely pick the monkey. Uh, you have the ter next question is you have the terrible misfortune of being trapped in the World Trade Center on 9/11, above the impact zone. All routes of escape are cut off. The heat and smoke are intense. Would you have taken matters into your own hands and jumped from window or waited in vain for rescue? Uh, it's a stupid question. Um, I don't know. I, I I am incapable of making a rational decision on on. I can't just sit here calmly looking at a camera, looking at a laptop and telling you and tell you what I would do if I were above the crash zone in World Tra in Tower One or Tower Two. Would I jump out the window? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. There's no way to find out. I'm glad I and I am glad I don't have to make that decision. The the whole thing is just frightening. It's not it's not funny. Your daughter, Broomhilda, desperately needs a life-saving operation to remove her extra belly button. You're strapped for cash. I am. So you search for extra employment. All that seems available is to appear in nationwide billboard ads portraying yourself as someone suffering from the ravages of syphilis or an acrobat who must be shot out of a cannon towards the elephant's ass. Which job do you choose and why? Oh, hell, if it's my daughter and, and, and her life is on the line, I'll take both. I'll 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 be the syphilitic by day and and get my ass, and get myself shot at an elephant's ass at night, you know. This these are the things you got to do for somebody you care about. You know, this is your daughter. You'll you'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. So you know, both jobs if I can. I don't care. Next question: Would you leave your house at the usual time, drive to work, enter the building, and put in a full day of work all naked? Uh, I work around hot shortening, so no. Um, I fry. St I I don't want to fry stuff naked. 
would you receive a million dollars at the end of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I would go there one day, um, work. I don't work eight hours. I work, you know, more, less than eight hours. But, yeah, one day I work naked, and then and then I lose my job, and then I get a million dollars, and I don't have to work again. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, no problem. Next question. You're invited to your new best friend's house to meet his wife. Charming home, lovely kids. You are shocked when he introduces his lovely wife and learn her arms were amputated in a terrible car accident, since which she has learned to use her feet to do everything her hands used to do. She extends a foot for you to shake upon meeting. Eventually, you sit down to a wonderful meal, and as you're lifting a piece of freshly baked bread to your mouth, your host and friend announces how she kneaded the bread with her feet and how proud she is she, that she has adapted so well. In fact, everything said before you, you now realize was made by this woman's feet. As are you polite and eat everything? Do you gag? Does it does it take seconds when it's offered? Um, I don't understand this. I don't. I don't understand the whole the whole thing. But but, but why why are you grossed out by her feet? She washes her feet and handles the food. You know what's gross is 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 having. It, it, it is not washing your hands after you go to the bathroom and, and, and handling food. That's that's gross. I mean, we don't have to have anything to do with feet. You know, she may be barefoot all the time because she has to be. And her feet are well aired out, and, and she wa and, and her and she washes her feet somehow, or her husband washes her feet for her, and she handles the food. Where's the problem? You know, they're not all sweaty or anything. Yeah, I, I'd eat them, and I and, and I would eat the food, and, and if it's good, I would go for seconds. No problem. So anyway, those are all my questions to Oniki uh, to Onichan Riku's questions. I think they're posed to him by sugar in his blood. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day, and I will see you tomorrow.